primarily fish four patterns, all that replicate various types of fish we have here. You know, this is a red belly piranha fly. You know, obviously red belly, a little bit of gray, they all have a dark back, put a little bit of flash in there. We put these big eyes on and epoxy in between, and that helps us control the sink rate. Sean just tied this, you know, black and purple, very classic, uh, you know, bait fish pattern. Uh, we also fish that quite a bit. But really the fly that we started with that we still use the most is one that imitates a peacock bass. So we're both gonna whip one of those up for you real quick. All of these we're using EP fibers and we really phase it in in little strands, relatively heavy and that's done intentionally. These fish don't see that well, or at least we don't think they do. So we want a fly that will push some water and create a little bit of movement and keep a very dense profile in this dirty tannic water. Like most flies, you're gonna start in the back, so we start underneath with the belly, put in some colors for the middle, and then always top them off with a, with a dark back. You build up a really large head by regular fly standards, and we compensate that with just putting over the stick on eyes and gluing in between, and that balances the whole thing out. So we're gonna do that for you real quick here. Our current favorite hooks are these Owner Aki ADOTs. Um, ADOT seems to be the magic hook. We've gone through a couple different things. TMCO used to make a really good one and they've discontinued the large sizes. Uh, but if you have any of those super points in an ADOT laying around, that is a killer hook. And then we will come back in and uh, add some spots and stripes with, with some markers at the very end. end up with you know, just a you know, very simple imitation of a peacock.